Hello everyone and everything. I wanted to show you something uh, that troubled me yesterday. I was distributing um, a hastily built, cobbled together build. I exported it and then I got this Macho header code and uh, I had no clue what happens. I looked at the logs, figured out which log to open and then I found this error message. I really have no clue about anything that's going on here. So I just looked for something that looked odd. I started at the end because, well, that's the last line that was printed into the log. It was a good candidate. And we see here, I enhance it a bit so you can read it better. Um, as you see here, um, the problem is that uh, for this framework um, dependency, the error is that it failed to discover platform executable, blah, blah, blah. I had never encountered this before. So I went ahead and um, uh, Googled around. I didn't find any good resolutions, but what I did find boiled down to um, this command, the, the file program, and then I just copy and pasted the path. And you see that the output is um, saying that this is a library with two architectures, which is expected, Intel and ARM architectures, a common place nowadays when you build stuff with Xcode. And here you see it's a current AR archive random library. Um, I have no clue what that means, but when you look at a regular library, you see that it says dynamically linked shared library. So this is an indication that this is not a dynamically linked shared library, but a static library. And static libraries apparently need to be treated differently. So let me show you what I did. This is the default when I dragged and dropped the framework dependency in there. Xcode um, checks embed and sign by default. So when you pick do not embed, it will still link the library with the um, resulting app or framework target, but it will not embed the result again because static libraries are already part of the binary of, in this case, the highlighting framework. And I imagine this is just a concatenation of the binary products. So th since it's already part of this, um, and yeah, since it's already part of this, it doesn't need to be embedded. And the embedding step also seems to confuse things. Um, so it's not optional and, and doesn't harm do harm. It does do harm and we don't want that. So the dot framework, um, the multi markdown dot framework um, bundle is not going to be part of the, um, of the result now. We are not going to embed it. It will not be available um, at runtime for lookup. It's just the, whatever is in here is already part of the highlighting framework and that's it, period. So. I hope this helps um, when you run into the similar problems. I wanted to do a demo so you can see the steps in motion and not just in screenshots. Um, I can't tell you much more about the, the background and what this means because I'm really, really clueless about the details. But this is a fix that works. I build it again, I distribute it again, and the export worked just fine. I already checked on um, different operating system versions to, to uh, ensure that it's not just working on my machine because everything is installed here um, as a developer dependency. No, it also works on uh, VMs and, and guest machines. Um, so that's how you fix the problem. And um, I'll leave a link in the description to my blog post explaining the details and to the technical note by Apple where I got all the information from. So hope this helps. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video.